G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. You're watching Flashlight Crazy. Today I've got a Raylight video and the purpose of this video is to show the different emitters that are in your Raylights. So we've got here a Lan Apple Stonewash with 3000K. We've got a Lan Apple Titanium Splash in 4000K. We've got a Stonewash Lan at 4,500K, and we've got a titanium black oil anodized at 6,000K. They're all using different emitters. I will go over them. It's gonna be a great video. Stick around. All right, here we go. So we have here four ray lights, and we have three LAN apples and one LAN. Now, the purpose of this video is to show the different emitters that Raylight currently offers. Now, there is an exception, and the exception is with the LAN. So I just wanna cover the LAN first, uh, even though it does sit in the middle of the color temperatures. Uh, but I wanna cover this because, as far as I know, Raylight, the website, does not currently stock LANs, and they don't currently stock this LED, which is the 219B 4500K emitter. Now, you are in luck if you want one of these, because lionknives.com.au currently sell these now. They have LANs, they have pineapples, and they have them in the previously used 219B 4500K emitter, which is arguably one of my favorite emitters because of the slight pink tint that it offers. It's just gorgeous. So when I'm talking about this video, these three are available at Raylight. Uh, they might be out of stock now, I don't know, but they probably will come back in stock. But the emitters that these three offer are all available at Raylight in different forms of lights, whereas this emitter is not, okay? All right, now that that's covered, let's go over the different lights. So before we do, I'm just going to install the Raylight batteries into all of them. So what I've got here for all of them is a Raylight lithium ion 14500, 1000 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt battery. Button always goes towards the head. Now the threads on the stone wash uh, titanium are not as nice as the anodized uh, black oil and the anodized. I mean, look at that. I think that's called like a, a blue splash or something, but it's just absolutely phenomenal. I think Ray still offers these. I don't think they're out of stock yet, uh, but the threads on this one are really nice as well as on the uh, black oil. And that's just because they're anodized. Whereas um, the raw stonewash uh, titanium does get a little bit a little bit finicky uh, and and kind of like nails on a <clears throat> sorry kind of like nails on a chalkboard type of sound. Uh, okay, so we'll get them here. We'll zoom in. Right now, I've got these lined up in order of color temperature. So here we've got a Raylight LAN that is offering the three thousand K emitter. The emitter is an XPL HD 3000K, okay? So that's what you're gonna get. Let's just move these there. So this is on moonlight and then low and then medium and then high. It's a gorgeous emitter and it is fantastic for a bedside light because your moonlight mode is not only the perfect amount of light, but it is also a phenomenal color temperature. One of the best thing about ray lights that I absolutely adore is that you do not have to use lithium. You can also put alkaline or nickel metal hydride and that will lower the output slightly. The benefit of that is if that moonlight mode is still too much for you, you can put a nickel metal hydride or a alkaline double A and that is gonna lessen the amount that's coming out, like reduce the lumens so it is a proper, proper moonlight mode. It's my favorite thing about ray lights. And I mean, apart from just how gorgeous they are and pocketable and just everything, but that's a phenomenal thing to offer. And so I, I do use this with a nickel metal hydride in it as my bedside light every single night because the temperature is perfect and, and the reduced uh, moonlight mode with a nickel metal hydride is fantastic. So that there is your XPL HD 3000K emitter. Currently stocked at 
ray light. Next is the 519A, the Nietzsche 519A in your 4000K. And this one is your uh, Lanapple Titanium Anodized Splash. It is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous color scheme. I don't think I will ever get rid of this because of how bloody beautiful it is. And this one's phenomenal for, you know, around the house, uh, outside as well. But around the house is great just because of the color temperature that it offers. It is just phenomenal for those slightly bigger jobs that, that you might want to use this for around the house, you know, looking behind the couch for something, under the bed, or just, you know, not wanting to turn the light on at nighttime and just using this. It's really a great color temperature, very pleasing on the eyes, large hotspot, all the good stuff. Next is one of my favorites. This is the, and that's on the, see the pink tint already? It's just beautiful. I'll just move it down a bit. So this is the uh, Nietzsche 219B in 4,500K. Absolutely gorgeous, phenomenal color temperature, and it is in the LAN. These are currently stocked right now at lionknives.com.au. I will link it in the description, but Lion Knives is the only ray light authorized dealer in Australia. So if you thought that there are no ray lights available in Australia, you were wrong. Lion Knives and Alan, who is the, uh, the man of the hour over at Lion Knives, he is so brilliant to deal with. There's a little chat box on the website that you can contact him on. He always gets back to you within 24 hours and he's happy to answer all your questions. I have absolutely been thrilled to have found lionknives.com.au. They've got knives, pens, torches, all sorts of good stuff. And they always update their website with the new ray lights. But these ones won't be around for long, and I am in fact probably going to buy a stonewashed pineapple in the 219B because I just absolutely love 219B. It's just it's just a fantastic uh, emitter just for everything. And so in terms of what I use it for, I use the 219B for outside because it is very it's quite bright. It's got some good output, but that pink tint is just absolutely to die for. And so that's a great outside light to have because it is, you know, moving up in the Kelvin area, 4,500. So it's really good for outside. It holds its own outside. Now, this one here is an absolutely gorgeous uh, black oil light. Uh, this is the LAN currently at Raylight. And this one has your XPL HI 6000K. But the 6000K is, it's got like a purpley tint to it almost. I don't know what it is about it, but it's really, really kind of a special one as well. So I really like the XPL HI 6000K. I think it's a gorgeous emitter. This one, I'm not sure if the black oil is currently stocked at Raylight, but the emitter is in, in other forms. So you can always choose the 6000K XPL emitter in other forms. Now I'm just gonna zoom out and I'm just going to give you, and let's just get them all on low. I'm just gonna give you a bit of a shot uh, with all of the lights. I mean, look at that. You can see the pink tint on the 219B already. It's just bloody fantastic, mate. Uh, that's low as well. And that's low as well. Okay, so now let's just try and really get a good shot of all of these lights. Okay, so let's start with the 3000K again. Okay, so as you can see, the color temperature, oh, wait, I might use, I might use this. As you can see, the color temperature is obviously a lot warmer, right? But take notice of the size of the hotspot. So that's something that is going to be appealing to a lot of people, the size of the hotspot. It means that the, it's, it's going, so it's large, right? So what that means is where the bulk of the light is being focused to is going to, is quite a large area. So that makes it really, really easy to find things and you don't have to point kind of directly at what you're trying to look for. You just point in the general direction and it's got a beautiful mixed beam profile, okay? Now I just might just move that over because I don't want it to disrupt the 519A. Okay, so they're all on low. Yeah. Okay, so the color temperature, it's quite yellow, but in real life, it does have a slight pink tint to it as well. Just slight, but it's enough to just be gorgeous. Now, the 519A 4000K, so that's 3000K, remember. 519A 4000K, it's a little bit whiter, but it's also very easy on the eyes. And 
the uh, hotspot is not as big as the XPL, but very large. It is quite large. So this is also a fantastic light for the, you know, medium jobs that you need inside the house, you know, even outside the house underneath the car seat or something like that. Probably wouldn't use it to compete with the daylight. That would probably be more these two because there's just more light and they're more white as well. But this one's a fantastic pocket light for around the house uh, in the daytime. Whereas this one's, for me anyway, around the house at night. And then this one around the house at daytime. Reason that this one is around the house at night as well is because it is very useful to not disrupt your night vision that you've accrued over however long you've been either sleeping or, you know, winding down in the dark, I guess, or, or in the low light conditions. But 519A4000K is one of the best emitters around. It is so pleasing on the eyes, very nice color temperature, very nice color rendering. So uh, this one's great. And I just want you to also take note of a lot of light is dedicated to the hotspot, not so much in the spill. Now, uh, not saying that there's not light in the spill, don't hear that. But what I am saying is the light that this is also offers a very large hotspot and the light is dedicated to that hotspot. Now, next is the 219B4000K. This one, it does look like it's got a larger hotspot. It's actually incorrect. The reason why it looks like a large hotspot is because of the exposure on the camera and because there's more light into the hotspot. So the 219B offers more light than the 519A in the lower levels. Now, 219B, you do have a tighter hotspot, you do have more light directed to that hotspot, and this is a great outdoor light as well as indoor light because this one offers you more white in the light that can compete with the daylight conditions if you use it, you know, to search for something underneath the car or underneath your tire or, you know, just whatever. It's a very useful light to have on you in the daytime. Really gorgeous pink tint as well. And as you can see, a nice widespread, really on all of them, a nice widespread. Now, last but not least over here, we've got the XPL 6000K. Now, this one has a nice tight hotspot, a lot of light directed into the hotspot, also a lot of light into the spill. And that's what's really helpful about this light. You've got a lot of light in the spill and that offers a really brilliant outdoor light because you have a very nice even beam with light directed to the hotspot as well as the spill. You've got a lot of white in the light, which means it's, it is going to compete with the daylight as well. And that means that this is a fantastic outdoor light. So to summarize, I would say indoor light at nighttime, indoor light at daytime, outdoor light night or day, outdoor light night or day. That is how I would use these lights. Now, what I might do is just give you a bird's eye view of each of them on high. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about, about the large hotspot. See how big the hotspot is? The hotspot's around here. So the hotspot is enormous in this light, the 3000K. So it's a fantastic light to use indoors just because of how large that hotspot is. You just need to point in a general direction and it's going to cover so much area for you. So it's fantastic. Now the 4000K, get it to high. So the 4000K there, bit of a smaller hotspot, but still grows as you move it away. See there, again, quite a, in fact, probably similar size hotspot actually, just a little bit whiter than the 3000K there. But again, great indoor light, daytime or nighttime, because it does offer a significant amount of light. 4,500K, look at that pinky purple tint. Oh, just to die for. And see how it's the hotspot is growing, but not at the rate that the other two were growing. There is more light directed into this hotspot here. So again, makes for a fantastic daytime light. And of course, this one is a beast. And there it is there. You've got a lot of light directed into that hotspot. Not an enormous hotspot at all. See there, it's still kind of directed solely to the hotspot, but the spill has a lot of light as well. So that there is a fantastic daytime light as well because it will compete with the uh, conditions of the sun. It's not gonna compete directly with the sun. Don't, don't hear that, but it will. it is a good daytime light and it will shed more light on the areas that you need more so than those three just because it's a whiter light with more light coming out of it. Now, these lights are arguably some of the most pocketable lights on the market. Reason being is their size. 
So if we just take a look here, they are all the same size. We're talking nine and a half centimeters. So they are absolutely fantastic to pocket. And another thing that's genius about these lights is the pocket clip. This is one of the most easiest clips to pocket on your pants or shorts or jeans or whatever, because it is not too rigid, but it's very, it is rigid enough, okay? So it's, f it's firm enough to hold the light in place, but it's not too rigid that you've got to yank it in and yank it out. Also, the up bend right at the end there makes it easy for you to catch your pocket, no dramas. I pocket these in top pockets as well as uh, jeans, uh, like jean pockets. So the options are endless when it comes to pocketing these lights. All right, let's go outside now, see how these guys do at nighttime, and then we'll come back for some final thoughts and prices. See you in a sec. All right, so we've kicked things off with the 6000K. And it's very, very useful. As you can see, it is just very useful. And it's, you know, the, the XPL, uh, I think it is, or XPH. Anyway, the, the Raylight's uh, 6000K that they do is really cool. I, the tint of it is bloody gorgeous. So massive, massive fan of this 6000K light. Look at that. That's a lot of light coming out of a friggin' 14500. Very useful. That's awesome. And it doesn't wash out, you know, too many of the colors either. I mean, yeah, I can see that there's different colors of green there, but you know, you wouldn't use it if you wanted a high CRI, obviously, but it's fantastic this. This is just bloody phenomenal. All right, let's go. What are we going next? 4,500, beautiful 219B. Oh, it's gotta be one of my faves. This is a nice, nice, nice uh, emitter. Thank you to Lion Knives. They still stock the lands and the pineapples in the 219B emitter. Grab them while you can, folks, because this is a phenomenal emitter that is no longer currently sold at Raylight. Beautiful. Great, great color. Love this emitter. All right. Now we have the 519A, 4000K. Beautiful emitter as well. Much larger hotspot, this one than both the other two. Still a bloody gorgeous emitter. It's a close call between this one and the 219B for me, because this is beautiful. Although this gets hot though. This one does get hot, because it is putting out a fair bit of Lumerinos. Last but not least, the old bedside emitter. Boom, 3000K, y'all. Nice and yellow. Really great for the bedside. Large hotspot again, really beautiful mixed beam. Fantastic. And still, you know, Decent throw on it. But this is all about the close-ups, this one. Beautiful. So, what's your preference? 3,000K, 4,000K, 4,500K, or 6,000K? All of them, but the 4,500K you can get from Raylight, and the 219B 4,500K, you need to go to lionknives.com.au to grab. Love them all. See ya. All right, so what do you reckon of the night shots? I mean, starting with the 3000K, it is really a perfect indoor light, you know? It's got a fantastic color temperature that is not going to 
disrupt your night vision. It's just perfect. And the fact that you can put AA or nickel metal hydride in it to even further reduce that output uh, from your moonlight mode is just phenomenal. So I love it. And uh, this is a great, great emitter sold at raylight.net. Then the 4000K 519A Nietzsche. I mean, it's a tried and true, known and very, very loved uh, emitter. Again, you know, it's a little bit brighter in, in the white than your 3000K XPL, but it's great for those bigger jobs indoors as well, whether it's daytime or nighttime indoors. I think this is a fantastic light. And again, currently sold at raylight.net. Then you've got the absolutely, truly loved uh, Raylight Stonewash LAN in uh, 4500K219B. You've got that pinky purple tint, just bloody phenomenal. Quite bright in my eyes there, I'll just turn it down. And it really, really is a, uh, a great all-rounder emitter. Uh, this one is currently stocked at lionknives.com.au. I will link it down below. And then finally, the 6000K XPL. You know, this, this is, for those of you who are on the fence about white lights, this one is, it, it's a great tint. It's soft, kind of, it's just fantastic. So I tell you what, uh, I really, I didn't think I was going to love the 6000K as much as I did. And it's really, really grown on me. And I'm very happy that I ended up pulling the trigger and getting one. So, and also currently stocked at your, at raylight.net. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link raylight.net and I'm going to link lionknives.com.au. Go check them out with what they've got. I know that Lion Knives, the, the 219B niches will run out eventually. And once they're gone, I believe they're gone unless you kind of do emitter swaps and things like that. So uh, I am probably going to go buy a Stonewash Pineapple from there as well, just because they are you know, pineapple's an iconic light, but also the 219B Nietzsche is just beautiful. I might beat you to it, but by the time this video publishes, they will still have stock because I'll publish it probably today. So check them out in the link below. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did. Uh, and until next time, stay cool and stay safe. See ya.